I'm here to encourage you as a Christian or a non-Christian, an unbeliever, but especially as a believer, that you will come to the end of yourself in the beginning of Christ. That you will crucify yourself to the world, to yourself, interests, that you will carry your cross and deny yourself the pursuits and plans you had in school when you were a child, the plans you wanted to be a fireman or you wanted to be a superstar or a model, a singer. Lay aside that and adopt Christ's passion, Christ's love. The, bur the, te the life, the teachings, the death, the burial, and resurrection of Christ. Bring that into your soul and let that be your guide. All right? Be consumed with the passion of Christ, where he saw the, the horrible circumstances awaiting him. And he pressed right into it because of the joy that he saw beyond that. Past the crucifixion, the crown of thorns, the whipping, the mocking, being spit on, ridiculed, past all that, into the resurrection the newness and power and how he can redeem mankind now because he has died for them. Be consumed with that. Come to the end of yourself. The end of your opinion of yourself. Caring what others think about you. Enter into the land of the fools. Fools for Christ. Redeem the time. Spend your life doing things that glorify Christ. Amen. And for those who do not know Christ, it is a horrific thing to come to the place where you know that you do not have God dwelling in you. It's a horrible, it's a nightmare, it's a, an abomination. It's a horrible, wicked feeling to know that you have the wrath of God abiding on you and that you reject Christ and that you do not have the love of God in you God's favor is not upon you but if you come to the end of yourself turn your eyes away from yourself and turn your eyes upon Christ and he will come to, he will come to you seek him with all your heart seek him during the day with all of your time if you actually wrote down in a schedule the times that you spent doing this and doing that and you're trying to get a hold of God but you're spending all your time watching TV shows and stuff and you say how come God won't come to me well that's because you need to discipline yourself it's called disciple for a reason you have to discipline yourself you have to become the arrow that pierces through the darkness, the dark fog of the devil, into the glory of God. You have to shoot for the stars, and shoot past the stars, and then you might hit one. You have to really, really dig in, spend some quality time throughout the day, searching for God, and you will find Him. Christ rose from the dead to live in you, I guarantee it. Christ created you to have a relationship, and Christ saved you so that you could join him in his mission to redeem mankind and the animals into the kingdom of God. Thanks for listening. Be inspired. Stir up the gift of God within you.